Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are doing some crazy paint as always. My regular car video for today was um, delayed due to some unforeseen circumstances. So I got to come up with something cool. So today I have this here 55 Chevy half ton step side. You might remember it. It was the one that was sitting over here. It had that kind of uh, color shift rainbow effect on it. That video didn't get a lot of good reviews. It kind of didn't really turn out amazing and uh i didn't really like it either so i want to remedy that so i'm gonna do something crazy on this body i have prepared this this is a little palette and then anyone who knows what this is for knows what we're gonna do today we're gonna do a marble paint effect on this truck underneath some sort of a candy probably like maybe a blue or a red or something i don't know i haven't decided yet but it's gonna be marble and to do that, we're going to use a black sealer from Createx. So for today's paint job, we need a saran wrapped palette, basically a piece of cardboard with some saran wrap on it. I did a couple extra wraps on mine just to give it this extra patterning. You'll see why that's important a little bit later. We're going to coat our little truck here with some black sealer. This is another Createx product, Autoborn sealer. And for our aluminum effect, I'm going to use some 4100 series aluminum. This particular one is the fine flake aluminum. You can get coarse and medium as well. I'm going to use the fine for this project. So these three things. And then on top of that, all we got to do is add some color. And I think for this particular project, I'm going to use some tealicious today, which is just another candy tool. And it's going to be a real nice teal color, but it should show off this aluminum very nicely. So first things first, let's go to the spray booth. All right, our truck is dry in our black sealer. The next step, I have a little baby sheet of cellophane here, cut out, ready to go. But first I have to go load up our pallet with some of this aluminum, wherever I put it. I think it's in the spray booth already. So I'm gonna put a pretty medium wet coat on here just so it doesn't dry right away. And what the plan is, I don't need to tell you the plan. I'm just gonna show you the plan. Don't worry about these little love stains on top of the truck here, those will be covered up. All right, I've loaded up our pallet here with some paint. Now, let's Bob Ross this thing. The more crinkles in our saran wrap, the better this is going to work out. So don't worry about it being super flat. And we're just going to carefully lay down our saran wrap just to pick up some paint. Like so. And we're just going to transfer it over to the car. Or in this case, a pickup truck. The more wrinkle patterns, the better. That's kind of what's happening. So basically what we're trying to do here is create some chaos as a base below the candy. And it's going to have a really sweet look once we put some color on top of this and everything's dry. It'd probably be easier with a fleet side truck than a step side truck, but I'm going to do my best anyways. Hopefully the end result is better than what we started with. Once it starts drying a bit, then it gets interesting. I'm going to get a little bit more silver on my palette here. A few moments later. Yeah, we're just going to keep on Bob Ross in this. 
So it's basically the more crazy we make this look now, the crazier it's gonna look once we add color. And so far this is looking really crazy. So we'll just keep going, keep going. Don't wanna to lose too much of that black though. We need the black for the contrast. So you don't want it to be just totally silver. For those spots I just can't get at with the cellophane, I grabbed a little bit, whatever was left in my cup here. And I'm just gonna put some in with a brush. I don't know if cellophane is the way to go to do this kind of pat uh, patterning on such a small surface like this. Maybe you guys could come up with a better idea. Leave a comment if you can think of something. I know normally when they do that style of paint, it's on like a gas tank or something, you know, like a for a motorcycle. So it's got this huge surface area and it's really easy to make really cool with the cellophane, but not so much, not so much on this thing. All right, I want to see if I can put some extra lines in this. So I am going to go back to the cellophane now. And try something a little different. It's my little baggie. There it is. Get my palette a little bit closer. And I'm just going to pour some of this on. And I'm going to just get this all soupy. Rather than spraying it on. And we'll see if I can't make this work a little bit better. That's looking a lot better, actually. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go throw this in the oven, and I'm going to give it a little bit of time to dry, and then we're going to put some candy over top of this, and it's, it's just absurd. But it's going to look good. Trust me. I'll see you in the paint booth. All right, this is where we're at. It's looking pretty wild. We got tealicious happening. Before I clear coat, I just wanted to brighten up these little signal lights here. So I could add some color later if I wanted. On these trucks, I prefer the clear lenses for these lights, but so I could add some orange on top of that if I wanted or white or whatever, but this thing's looking bad. Yes. I'm gonna go clear coat this. I'll be right back. Check it out, check it out, check it out. We are back. We have created this pattern by dabbing aluminum onto black and then covering with candy. Looks pretty sweet, right? So I wasn't planning to continue the video past this part. I really just wanted to show you how to do a finish like this. However, since I got the parts, you know what? We might as well put it together. Why not? We got spare time. I put this in my uh, paint oven for about an hour. And that's usually all it takes. This kind of finish is usually reserved for, you know, smaller items, gas tanks, fairings. A lot of motorcycles have stuff like this, like Harley customization. 
I haven't seen it on a whole lot of cars, but that doesn't mean you haven't seen it on a bunch of cars. There's a little wood bed back in there. Oh, this thing just went up in value. <laughs> Even got a kind of a brown interior that I did before. And I think it's going to just work out. There's our little dashboard I did before another day. I really feel like I fixed this thing up. We really needed to do something different with this truck. I'm glad that this is working out. It's our little rear taillight bar install. Got our little bow tie for the front. It's gonna be sweet. We got headlight buckets. We really go the extra mile with the customizing. Take a look, it's in our book. Dashboard installed. Do 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 floss up these windows. Well, I love that there's chrome trim on here. You can make the cleanest customs out of 132s and 134s. I mean just look at this thing. This thing's gonna be friggin' amazing. Oh, sneak our little taillight bar back in here. Oh, it's just it's just beautiful. Stick our little bow tie back in. I regret not shaving this little bow tie off. Most people when they build one of these trucks and they uh you know they're gonna put it on real chromey rims, they usually shave that off. You don't see it on too many trucks. This man, this thing's crazy. Let's see if I can't get these little headlight buckets back in. And we'll put in this. For lenses, straight up super glue. No problem. Glue, 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 glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing's insane. All right, door panels. No glue needed. Put this sweet little interior back in. A couple of screws for good measure. And then we'll have a look at this thing. Oh my god. Went from drab to fab with nothing but mustard. Holy smokes. This turned out way better than I thought it was going to look. Let's get this up on the rotisserie so we can appreciate it properly. So what do you think of that creation? <laughs> This is just supposed to be a short video to show how to do this marble paint job, but uh, it kind of turned into like a custom, maybe like a custom revisit, something like that. I feel like we did this truck a little bit more justice than we did originally the first time. I wasn't very happy with the results and uh, for what it cost to do the paint on that first one, like it was outrageous. This I'm a lot more proud to have on the workbench and hopefully you guys can appreciate this one. It's a little bit hard to show off this one because this color is all flip-flopping all over the place. But it turned out very cool. It's very slick. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's funky. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can see us using this method uh, in the future doing some cool stuff, but I uh, gotta try to find out a better way to do it in a smaller scale. This didn't look too bad, but I think we could improve on this method a little bit for uh, for doing our small models like this. Next car video will be out on Friday, so stay tuned for that one. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.